I also did some color studies, so that's not particularly great, but I wanted to see how do my colored pencils work on with my gouache paints. And yeah, that was interesting. Nothing so great. We just need practice, I guess, all of us. And some more of that kind of type of work. Again, meh, you know, just trying new things. Realizing I don't really like this way of working. But I might. My beautiful hamsters inspired other hamsters. So I have a hamster's guide to sun salutation, which I still need to finish. And um, I don't know, Ted the senior hamster. <laughs> yeah, I always laugh about my own drawings at some point because I just think like I had too much fun doing them. And this is, oh gosh, the cutest old hamster sitting on a bench feeding the pigeons. And the pigeons like, Next, so then I think I just had such a good time and was really creative. Uh, I had a really long creative block in the summer. So before I started doing all of these drawings, I had a month of not drawing at all. So if you are in a creative block at the moment, do not worry. And I have a link to help you if you are in that situation. It's on how to overcome a creative block, which really helped me. It's by someone else, uh, but I really highly recommend it. So these are like grumpy hamster retirement and fit hamster retirement. So how would they look like? And these are like, look at these like dental dentures. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, it was slightly um, inspired by my uh, husband's grandmother and by his dad. Not that he's grumpy, but certain, certain aspects of this are definitely inspired by them. And um, fit hamster retirement. I love this and I really want to turn this into final illustrations. Haven't done so yet, but you might see them soon. And then these ones. And this was, uh, I really love these. They, I actually finished them. These are now um, black and white illustrations. I'll show you the final ones. Here was some color development for my uh, illustrations you saw before. More colors. Trying different things. And these are some of the originals. I still recommend you to look at my website. And here. I hope this is interesting for you. And these are some color sketches from before I did these. And um, yeah, you can see there's a lot of things going on. Things look messy. I mean, look at that horse and this hamster head. No, it doesn't always look good in the beginning. Actually, in the beginning, it often looks very ugly and that's okay. So don't worry about if your illustrations don't look good in the beginning. We are all there in the beginning. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, then I can just show you maybe the finals of this one. I really love this one. Gosh, Hamster Gramp and his kids reading a book about acorns, of course. Didn't like the eyes, we drew them. So this is how I work. Um, I like to edit stuff and change stuff digitally later because I I just admit that I don't draw perfectly and I, I find the computer is a very nice tool to make changes. And here's another one. I also really love this one. Again, made it into my portfolio. Really happy with these ones. My, some of my very few uh, black and white illustrations. And this was the same thing, but this is just a preparation in the sketch. So I became a little bit more dedicated to uh, redrawing things. And I think that really helped the quality of my images. Is there anything else? My goodness, I think I have so much stuff that I don't know. I'm sure I have some more. Okay. Um, here. This was... Uh, again, you can see this in my portfolio. This was about um, hairstyles of Ellis Island, about immigrants in, on Ellis Island. And this, for example, I also changed digitally later. I replaced it with this. So if you're working traditionally, please use the computer sometimes because, you know, sometimes you just don't have the time to redraw everything. 
you could just redraw um, parts of it and then replace it, I think. At least this is the way I like to work. Um, more sketches. Yeah. Some color studies. Finals. You just hear me like rummaging around on the paper. Another final spread for Archimedes. Another final, again, trying to do color studies on the side. Things I'm going to change and add later. So you see, like, my summer, sorry, my summer was actually quite, yeah, busy. This was supposed to be a card for a new baby, but I felt it was too dark, so I sent a different one. And these were the, this was a color study for it. So this is probably one of the weirdest sketchbook tours you've ever had. Can you imagine? I don't know. And this was the sketch. I always feel like I'm going back in time. But yeah, it's, I think it's good to see, you know, like people work very differently and not everyone has everything together in one major sketchbook. I'm just looking through some empty pages. Oh, this is a final. I don't know if I can show this. I might as well. I entered this into a competition. Um, I might show a separate process video about this. Um, this was my final sketch thumbnail. This was my printout. Um, trying different things with paint did not work. Um, but so I basically added all my details that I didn't have in this very loose sketch. You can see this um, just a lighter version of this and I just drew over it. And then this is the final. And I just edited it a little bit in Photoshop. And uh, yeah, I really love this. It's quite big for my uh, way of working. And this is part of a competition at the moment. And I hope I will get selected. And if not, well, it was a really good experience. Um, my goodness, I think there might be more, but really few. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this crazy sketchbook tour of my finals and non-finals. And please look at my portfolio if you want to see the finished images and watch my Instagram. That's where I post quite a lot of stuff yet. Um, oh, I'm going to post. I'm going to post, yeah. So, yeah, I hope you liked this. Please like it if you liked it. Thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, I would like to see your sketchbook tours. Uh, I don't know what to show anymore. I just have my hands. So, bye-bye. And, yeah, look at my other videos. <laughs>